Welcome back to History of Simple Things. Today's topic comes from one of our viewers, Jason Juliton. Thanks for the suggestion. You asked, does gasoline actually go bad? If you've ever left your car sitting in the garage for months, found an old jerry can in the shed, or worried about fuel in your generator, you've probably wondered the same thing. Gasoline is something we rely on every day, but unlike a bottle of water, it doesn't stay the same forever. So does this everyday fuel have a shelf life? And what really happens when it gets old? Stick around as we explore the surprising science behind aging gasoline right here on History of Simple Things. To understand why gasoline can go bad, we first need to look at what it's made of. Gasoline isn't a single pure liquid. It's a cocktail of different hydrocarbons that come from refining crude oil. These hydrocarbons include compounds like octane, heptane, and additives that improve performance and reduce emissions. On top of that, modern gasoline usually has ethanol blended into it, which helps reduce pollution but also makes the fuel less stable in the long run. Because it's such a delicate balance of chemicals, gasoline is very sensitive to air, moisture, and even temperature changes. All these factors play a role in how quickly it starts to degrade once it's been pumped out of the refinery and into your tank or container. So how long can you actually store gasoline before it begins to lose quality? On average, untreated gasoline stored in a proper container lasts about three to six months before it starts to break down. If it's an ethanol blended fuel, which is what most gas stations sell today, it can begin losing quality in as little as one to three months. Pure gasoline without ethanol can stretch closer to six months or sometimes a bit more. Now, if you use special fuel stabilizers, which are chemical additives designed to slow down the breakdown process, you can extend the life of gasoline up to one or even two years. But without that, it's safe to say gasoline doesn't have a very long shelf life compared to other fuels like diesel or kerosene. Gasoline doesn't spoil like food, but it does undergo chemical changes that make it less effective as a fuel. Over time, the lighter hydrocarbons, the ones responsible for easy ignition, start to evaporate, even if the fuel is stored in a sealed container. This makes the gasoline harder to ignite when you try to use it later. Meanwhile, the oxygen in the air causes oxidation, which creates sticky substances called gums and varnishes. These byproducts can clog fuel injectors, carburetors, and filters, leading to rough idling or a complete engine failure. If ethanol is present in the fuel, it absorbs moisture from the air, and that water eventually separates from the gasoline. This process, known as phase separation, can leave you with a layer of water and alcohol sitting at the bottom of your tank. Definitely not something you want feeding into your engine. You might be asking, how can you tell if your gasoline has gone bad? There are a few warning signs. First is the smell. Fresh gasoline has a sharp, almost sweet odor, but old fuel smells sour, almost like varnish or paint thinner. Another giveaway is color. Fresh gasoline is usually clear or slightly yellow, but as it ages, it darkens and takes on a muddy or amber hue. If you pour some out and it looks cloudy or layered, that's also a clear sign of phase separation. And of course, the most obvious sign is performance. If your car or lawnmower starts misfiring, stalls, or just refuses to run smoothly after being fueled with stored gas, chances are the gasoline has deteriorated. Using old gasoline won't necessarily destroy your engine instantly, but it can cause problems that are expensive to fix. Engines running on stale fuel often suffer from clogged fuel systems, reduced power, and higher emissions. In severe cases, you may need to have the entire fuel system cleaned 
or even replace damaged components. Another danger comes from the ethanol and water mixture. Water and fuel can lead to corrosion inside your tank and fuel lines, which is especially harmful in older vehicles or small engines that aren't designed for ethanol blends. So while a small amount of old gas diluted with fresh fuel might still burn, relying on it long term is a recipe for trouble. The key to keeping gasoline usable for as long as possible is proper storage. Gasoline should always be kept in approved, tightly sealed containers made from metal or special plastic designed for fuels. It should be stored in a cool, dry place away from direct sunlight or heat sources since high temperatures accelerate evaporation and chemical breakdown. If you're storing gasoline for emergencies, adding a fuel stabilizer right after purchase is highly recommended. These stabilizers work by slowing down the oxidation process and preventing gum formation. Another tip is to avoid filling containers to the brim. Leaving a little bit of space allows for expansion without causing leaks. With the right conditions, you can keep gasoline usable for significantly longer than its natural shelf life. So let's say you've discovered a forgotten gas can in your shed or some old fuel in your car's tank. What should you do? First, don't just dump it out. Old gasoline is considered hazardous waste and pouring it onto the ground or down a drain is both illegal and harmful to the environment. Many local waste disposal centers or auto shops will take old fuel and recycle or dispose of it properly. If the gasoline isn't too far gone, some people mix small amounts of old gas with fresh fuel to use it up, but this should only be done in small engines and with caution. The safest bet, especially if the gas smells foul or looks discolored, is to dispose of it properly and start fresh. So, does gasoline go bad? Absolutely. It doesn't last forever. And within just a few months, it can begin to lose its effectiveness. Between evaporation, oxidation, and water contamination from ethanol, gasoline is surprisingly fragile for something we rely on so heavily. The good news is that with proper storage and the use of stabilizers, you can extend its lifespan when needed. But at the end of the day, gasoline is meant to be used, not hoarded. Keeping it fresh not only protects your engine, but also ensures you're getting the performance and efficiency you expect every time you turn the key. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.